I've only ever looked at the expanding Earth theory once before. It was from a guy who was blowing up a balloon and it had some crusty stuff on it. What happens? This is the first time. This is probably the best model I've ever done, so we'll, we'll see how it works together. Here we go. Not too good in terms of trying to prove his point. But when I saw a video entitled The Obviously Expanding Earth, then who was I to turn that one down? <laughs> Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tin Fall Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a festive thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Manscaped.com. Your jingle balls will be thanking you because Manscaped have created the world's first all-in-one men's grooming kit that has you covered from head to toe, literally. This is the Lawmower 3.0, a waterproof cordless trimmer built with advanced skin safe technology, which helps reduce cuts and nicks on your most sensitive areas. It's got this really cool LED light, which is really helpful for grooming on those cold, dark winter nights. Here's a stocking filler for you. Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray. These are a game changer. Oh, very fragrant. New to the collection is the Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer. I had no idea I needed this one so bad and I'm really pleased Santa sorted it out for me. But Manscaped is no longer just for below the waist grooming guys. In addition to products to your face, they now got you covered head to toe with their new and improved Shears 2.0 luxury six piece stainless steel nail kit. This thing is really nice. Every guy out there needs to have Manscaped to their wish list this season. It's the biggest bang for your buck. And for a limited time, you'll get two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. Do not wait. Go to manscaped.com and use my promo code SIMANDAN to get 20% off, plus free shipping, plus those two extra free gifts. Right, back to today's video, where Through the Ether are absolutely convinced that the Earth is expanding. Let's check this out with our maybe they will have or will not have decent proof hats on, shall we? All right, I've been meaning to make this video for a while. So the expanding Earth thing, I think it's correct. I don't know all the mechanisms. I don't know exactly how it happens. The gist of it is cosmic energy comes in, gets incorporated into Earth, and it just, the whole sphere expands. Wow, that's an incredible claim. I hope you've got some evidence for it. Continental crust, ocean crust, doesn't matter. Everything expands. So here's what the Pacific looks like, and here's how I think it used to connect. So it looks like there were two specific shifts in the Pacific, right, where not even looking at the actual, you know, fault line, uh, you know, mid-ocean ridge type thing in the middle there, it just looks like that's how it would have connected. Okay, well let's take a look at the Pacific Plate, shall we? The Pacific Plate is the largest tectonic plate on Earth. As the plate is entirely made of oceanic crust which is thinner, then of course hotspots can often break through. Hawaii is an excellent example of this. As the plate drifts, then of course these hotspots drift with it, so it's no surprise that you get similar crustal patterns as you move across the plate. So here, I'll flash the lines on and off just so it's a little bit easier to, to picture. You can see on the ocean floor, there's an outline of that. Now here's the whole globe again. You can see the mid-ocean ridges where it's currently expanding from. You know, it's growing every year, pushing out from those mid-ocean ridges. But of course, what you're failing to point out are the subduction zones, where one plate slides underneath its neighbour. This usually causes a lot of activity on the surface. And again, the coastlines basically line up all around the world. It's hard to see with Antarctica because, you know, it's spread out the way it is on the, the projection on the map. But connected to Australia, connected to South America... I think the tip of Africa also touched. All right, so now let's go around specific areas. You can see the tip of Greenland would have touched the top over there. Scandinavia would have touched, again, the side of Greenland. 
that island would have been connected to the British Isles. You can see that it's just, it's too symmetrical to be coincidental. And of course, it's not coincidental. These land masses did once often touch, but the moving plates doesn't mean that the Earth itself is expanding. For example, the Indian plate is slamming up into the Eurasian plate, forcing the Himalayas to get taller and taller. Iceland would have touched there. And then, of course, Iceland is also uh, attached to Greenland before that split apart. And then, you know, the, the southern portion of Greenland. Actually, yeah, that would have been connected to the North American continent. You can see that's a mirror image of itself. And as those two are touching, you go right across the Atlantic, follow the lines on the ocean floor. They're there to guide your way. You know, that would have connected right about in there. So Spain would have been connected to North American continent right about there, <laughs> is how I see it going. This is true. The Atlantic is getting wider, but at the expense of the Pacific. They aren't both getting larger, which is what you would expect if indeed the Earth was expanding. Now, Canada, the North American shield here, again, it's just like putting, picture it like putting sand into silly putty and then stretching it. You know, at once it was connected in a straight line, but as you stretch it out, it just cracks along the weakest points. The water rushes in to fill the low ground, and there you go. The Canadian Arctic Archipelago was formed and shaped by glacial buildups and was less influenced by the tectonic activity. I mean, it's too coincidental. It couldn't have just flooded that way or just been low like that on purpose. It couldn't have. It had to have split apart. You can see it's, it's a perfect fit if you just shrink it. You know, it's so simple. It's right in front of our eyes. Oh, he's moving to Europe. Same thing, the Mediterranean cracked open. Africa pivoted. You can see there's a notch right there and a little dimple where it would have gone into. It connected. Africa pivoted to the south and west. It would have been up towards Europe, to the north and east. Well, actually, the Mediterranean is thought to have been formed by a mega flood when the Atlantic Ocean breached the mountains near the Strait of Gibraltar. And the African plate and the Eurasian plate are actually moving towards each other. So that kind of ruins your expanding Earth hypothesis, doesn't it? And you can see it, it connects right there. <laughs> just take away the dark blue, essentially. Just squinch it. Take away the dark blue. The light blue is there. And, you know, Cyprus would have connected down there. Greece connects down there. It's, it's pretty obvious just looking at the lines. Does it now? Well, Italy, Greece and much of southern Europe are actually part of the African plate, which, as I stated a minute ago, is moving towards the Eurasian one. And now let's go down here to Africa. You see that would have connected to the Arabian Peninsula. Okay, you can see the lines on the ocean floor, how it moved. It's a tracer back in time. You can see, I think those two areas were connected. And if you follow that line right there, that, you know, just go back in time. And this happened rapidly. It didn't, ha it didn't happen over millions of years. It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No. Not this time. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. It's fiction. It's fiction. We made it up. We made this one up. It's a made-up tale. It's a total fabrication. It never happened. It never happened. This one was invented by a writer. Not this time. It never happened. It's false. It never happened. It's a fake. Um, any evidence for this rapid continental movement or not? So again, that's with that sand analogy. Just it gets stretched in a straight line. All of those little islands would have been connected to India. And just... Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> drawn out in a string. And now here, that's New Zealand. And down to Antarctica, I think those two areas connected. You can see all that's underwater, basically, except for a few islands, but you can see the line is still there. And if you notice on the bottom, it curves towards the right. Yes, that would be the bottom left of the Pacific Plate, which, incidentally, is moving in the same direction as the Australian Plate next to it. More evidence that squashes your expanding Earth idea. And that's, again, a mirror image of 
Western South America. There's the notch, the coastline, and it curves to the right. And again, follow the lines. It's right there for you to trace your way back in time. But these are two opposing sides of the same plate. Honestly, it is nice to look at the coastlines and see if they do fit or not. However, we know with a fair amount of confidence where the plates were and where they're going to be. And magnetic signatures in rocks were a key discovery here, especially when it involves the phenomena of seafloor spreading. So, I mean, like I said, I don't know the exact how it happened, but I'm pretty sure it happened. It's staring us right in the face. It's just you don't think about entire planets growing, like getting bigger in size, but they... They do. <laughs> they absolutely do not. Well, the Earth certainly doesn't. I think it's just part of galactic evolution. Starts out as a comet, turns into a planet, turns into a star, turns into a whatever. Just gets bigger and bigger the more energy it acquires. Sorry, what? Can we just hear that again? I think it's just part of galactic evolution. Starts out as a comet, turns into a planet, turns into a star, turns into a whatever. Just gets bigger and bigger the more energy it acquires. I'm done. Seriously, a comet to a planet to a star to whatever. How very scientific. I simply cannot go on with this. I don't think the title of this video being the obviously expanding Earth is correct, is it? In fact, I think it's a load of rubbish. Well, there we go. Another episode of Tin Foil Tuesday, all complete and all wrapped up in a nice little aluminium parcel. Thank you all very much for watching today. It's truly appreciated. If you enjoyed it, then please do drop a like on the video and subscribe as well if the feeling takes you. Just enough time to once again thank the sponsors, manscaped.com. Remember, go to manscaped.com, use my code SIMANDAN to get 20% off and free shipping and those two extra gifts. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a cracking day and I'll see you all tomorrow for the live comments. See you then.